Yeah, my, my own dog, Dosi, she's a 12-year-old mutt, and she's been afraid of thunder and fireworks since, since she was a puppy. Oftentimes during nighttime storms, I'd wake up with a 50-pound mutt standing on my chest, uh, drooling, panting, uh, vibrating, shaking. Uh, and we did what most people do. We visited our veterinarian and our trainer. Uh, but to make a long story short, no, nothing was really working for us in, until a friend of the family suggested using a snug-fitting wrap like swaddling an infant, which is what a thunder shirt does. It, it applies gentle, constant pressure to the, to the torso of a dog or cat, and, and that pressure just has a remarkable calming effect for most. And so we tried a homemade version of it one night with, with our dog, and we were amazed. Uh, Dosi settled right down, and, and thunder shirt evolved from there. Yeah, uh, there's a, a wide variety of, of anxiety and fear issues. So noise anxiety, like thunder and fireworks, are one of the most common. Separation anxiety is a huge issue. Travel anxiety, general fearfulness. For cats, it's all about vet visits. You know, getting to the vet and the whole experience at the vet is, is, is a major anxiety trigger. And, and the symptoms are, are extremely varied as well. So shaking, drooling, panting, uh, bolting from the home. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, with the 4th of July coming, that's a great question. Uh, it's such a big problem for so many cats and dogs. Uh, we like to recommend, first and foremost, make sure you have an up-to-date ID on your pet, whether it's microchipping or an old-style tag on the collar with a good phone number and email address. Uh, try to keep your pet inside uh, heading into the 4th of July, and not just on the 4th. You know, start uh, three, four days before when, when neighbors might start some early celebrations and create a, a comfortable, uh, quiet interior space in the home so, so your pet can, can get away from the sounds and, and, and just muffle the noise as much as possible. Walk in closets, if that's some place where, where your dog or, or cat likes to go, uh, would be a great place since there are no windows and, and you can muffle the sound greatly. Um, a, a lot of dogs will actually hide in the bathtub. Uh, we hear from people all the time, yeah, I mean, dogs will jump right into bathtubs and just hang out there. It's, it's probably one of the most common, one of the most common hiding places uh, during storms. And so we, we'd recommend just go ahead and follow their lead, you know, set up some blankets and things in the tub, uh, maybe, maybe put a radio in there to, for some other noises to be involved and, and just, just let them ride it out in, there. Anxieties uh, are a major challenge for shelters. Uh, number one, it's, it's a very stressful environment for, for any dog or pet, just with, with the noise levels and, and all the animals coming and going. Um, but also, uh, shelters get more than their fair share of, of animals with maybe fear of uh, thunder and fireworks and, and other anxieties because a lot of animals, unfortunately, are, are abandoned precisely because they do have anxieties. Uh, so one thing that we've done over the past couple of years is we've donated over 20,000 Thunder shirts uh, across the country j just to help shelters uh, cope with uh, acclimating new arrivals in their shelter and, and just help the animals uh, uh, survive the kennels. And, and a lot of pets actually go home once they're adopted with their Thunder shirt to, to help the transition.